What's up, Mercs? It's John here with some more Starbound, and last time we just set up the Decoy Princess, and today we're probably gonna go ahead and fight the dragon that wants that princess. But first, I want to just quickly go over the new update. So we are playing on the new update. The new update is Enraged Koala. It was released on the 18th of February, and the changes are as follows. Now the first one, it says this update will allow us to add new biomes and make changes to the worlds without the possibility of losing or uh, of the player losing their world. There will more there will oh god, I can't talk. <laughs> there will likely be one more world wipe sometime in the future when you find when they finalize universe layout. So this house may be gone later in this let's play which kind of makes me sad but you know what i can always start over and uh it says this won't include a character slash ship wipe but you can still back your worlds up so we could probably back this up if need be um they said they attacked the uh, patch the system a bunch or they they put a lot of work in the patching system so that uh Patches will come out at a near daily rate, they said. That is awesome. And additional goodies consist of a, some Valentine's Day items, including swords, costumes, decorations, bow, and etc. Engine feature, tech can now be granted by armors. So I guess this is something for modders. They can make some sort of, uh, kind of, I guess, maybe like a pulse jump armor or something. I don't know if I can actually do it. I don't... I wouldn't know where to do it. I'm guessing that's just something that modders can then put in, which would kind of make a little bit of sense. It'd be cool. Uh, the next thing is key binding reconfiguration. So, unfortunately, it says minus the UI, so you can't rebind keys in game, but there is an INI file. I think an INI file. A config file, whatever, that you can rebind your keys with, and they provide they provide a tutorial for that, which is always good. Uh, they fix some server stability or issues. They have new death animations, which kind of makes me want to die, but at the same time, no. Uh, engine feature: all objects are now scriptable and interactive. So, for instance, if some modder wanted to add some feature to this bunny, they could, or the the devs could add features to the bunny. Or something like that. That's actually a really cool thing. Uh, there are more avian weaponry, which is good. Projectile changes, which I have no idea what that means. I mean, I have the crossbow here. I haven't noticed anything different. I mean, I was testing a little bit. Obviously, this is a crossbow. This is not a bullet that I'm shooting. But I have not seen anything different, so I have no idea what that would be. Dogs can now be captured. Lots more pets coming soon, they said. A bunch of new items and smaller pieces of content. Uh, they actually added the microphone instrument, uh, they, they made better sounds for it, they added better sounds from it, or for it, and the sounds were provided by Smooth McGrew, which I believe is a YouTuber, I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that, I could be wrong, sorry if I'm wrong, but I, I, can't, I don't really know, I remember reading about it, I couldn't, can't remember it exactly though. Uh, they fixed a bug where warping to magma slash volcano biomes caused a crash. And additional content has been created, uh, it says in parentheses, new biomes, etc., but it will come out just after this patch, as it needs to be adapted to the new content update system. That sounds awesome, so possibly for after the next episode of Starbound, not this one, not the next one, but after that, there could be new content updates, or new biomes, I mean, that would be pretty fucking awesome. So let's go ahead and set these things up that we got here, put, up, put one of those down. I want some wardrobes. Uh, let's see. Wow, this this is gonna get cluttered really fucking fast. Um. Yeah, those look good. Uh. Put that <laughs> there. Uh. <laughs> uh. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, there we go. Spruce the place up just a bit. Put a table down here. Uh, do I have a chair? I think I got a chair. But first, I need some swords. Oh, wait, no. I can put that somewhere else. I can put that, uh... Where do I want to put that? Didn't I want a weapon room or something? Oh, I can't remember. We'll have to make that later, though, because right now there's no room. Let's put some candles down. Put one there. And yeah, not put one on the fucking... That's stupid. Put one on the wardrobe. That looks good. Um, glitch weapon rack. This could be for decoration later. Here we go. Royal... Royal Thrones chairs. We're gonna use a throne chair just for our fucking. That's gonna conflict probably, but we'll see. For our uh, our glitch desk, and of course our alarm clock, which this is getting cluttered. But you know what? I think it's 
interesting. I never said it looks good, but it's interesting, all right. Put a glitch chest down there because you don't have one. Let's put some plates out. There you go. Now we can have a dinner. Put a bowl. I can't put a bowl in the middle. Son of a bitch. Do I have a cup? Hmm. Can I put this in the middle? Oh, God, that's tall. Put it behind the chair. There we go. All right. That looks kind of cool. Not really. Somewhat. Maybe. A little. Not really at all. And, uh, of course, I really want to put this down. But in order for that... This is going to be cluttered. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess not, because you can walk through it. So let's go ahead and throw some of these things away. Just for now, we can get them back later. Hmm. Holy shit. I've got so much shit. Alright, so I don't know how to co go about crafting these Valentine's Day weapons if you can. Hmm. I did see my game being updated, so it's possible that I'm past that patch already because they did say near daily updates. But, I wouldn't know. Oh, here it is, a heart forge. I need five gold bars, a campfire, and some pixels. Do I have enough pixels? So let's... What? Are you serious? Did I really use all my gold? Are you, are you shitting me? You're literally, literally shitting me. The one time... I need fucking gold. I've used it all. That is terrible. Son of a bitch, really? Really? I, I really have no gold anywhere. Did I ins oh, there's some. Uh, yeah. That, that, that is so my luck. One fucking bar short. <laughs> Son of a fucking bitch. Um. One and a half! Bar, or a half a bar short. Not even a full bar short. We were half a fucking bar short. That is highly unfortunate. Hopefully we can just find one gold ore in the next video or this video. But I think it is time to fight our evil... Oh, this is going to destroy my house. I know it is. This guy can wreck buildings, by the way. So, I don't think... Well, let's do it anyway. Fuck it. Yeah! Run away, run away. Oh god, close the door. Oh god. Oh my god. This is like the biggest boss in the game, I think, and he scares the living hell out of me. Excuse me. That's my house you lit on fire. I'll light you on fire. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, not so good now, is it, you asshole? I'm out of energy, hold on. I gotta reload my crossbow, it's like Skyrim. Interestingly enough, I, I re downloaded Skyrim and I put over 100 mods in it. And I'm probably going to stream it. It's going to be fucking awesome. If it doesn't crash like a million times. You want to go? Oh, shit. He has fucking physical... Oh, I died. Oh, that's the death animation. I got, like, teleported. There's no There's no death animation, like, death sequence. There's just, like, dying and... Okay, good. He's still here. Because I remember the old bug where they... Oh, my God. That fire is... That's melting fire. That's why. Well, that... I love that death animation. That's awesome. That is so fucking cool. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh my god, that is the coolest fucking death animation ever. That is that is really nice. He has a melting fire, and it's... Yeah, if he hits you with that melting fire, I'm gonna die, so... I can't get back to my house right now. Ah! Oh. There you go. Close it. It'd be cool if he can burn himself. He used to be able to burn himself, and you could bullshit him that way. But... Uh, I'm glad they kind of fixed that, because shit, 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 shit. Maybe that's not melting. It says burn, but it does a hell of a lot more damage than being burned, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Don't run away from me, I'm not summoning another one of you. I do have to say, they do have pretty cool molten physics, like, kind of how, like, the fire breaks off there. The, uh, the kind of liquid physics, or whatever you want to call it, the physics in this game with, like, liquids and, uh... Things that aren't supposed to be completely solid, really actually pretty damn good. Like, compared to games such as, like, Terraria, the liquid physics in this game are much, 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 much better. Like, pressure and all that works, I'm pretty sure. I, I remember they doing them doing a tech video on, like, pressurized systems and stuff with water. I actually like this crossbow. It does a pretty damn good amount of damage, and it's a fucking crossbow, so it's, like, the coolest thing ever. I didn't know there were crossbows in this game. And that just makes it even cooler. Granted, it kind of from the side, it kind of looks like a sawn-off musket in a way or something like that. But 
I guess I, I do see how it's supposed to be a crossbow. It's just you can't see the, uh, the actual. I don't know what's called. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what the uh, thing horizontal to you would be, or perpendicular to your you holding it would be. I don't know what's called. I can't remember. Not I. Not that I can't remember. I just don't know. But you guys know what I'm talking about. It's the best thing to do in a 2D game, and it actually looks pretty damn cool. I kind of like it. And by kind, I mean a lot. It's just an awesome gun or weapon, really. I'm I'm glad that they did uh, add crossbows. I would never have thought they would have. There we go. I got the Bone Dragon book and five dragon bones. I've killed the Bone Dragon. So, shall we read? Yes, we shall. Excuse me while I go and butcher everything about this. Dragons aren't real. That's the story told across all species. Even the Florins, the hunters of great prey, dismiss the idea of dragons as mere folly, possibly because if they encounter one, they're too busy killing it to notice what it is. But dragons were real once, at least if this reanimated bone dragon is to be believed. Lay down the right bait and the creature swoops in from the skies, scorching all on its path. Mindless, murderous, and completely lacking in flesh, it's a sight to behold. Where does it come from? Nobody knows. Even Green Finger of the Florin is stumped. Perhaps it is the work of those strange winged demons sighted on distant planets, or maybe the unusual Argarians. The mushroom people who till the earth? Oh my god, those are who the fu- There is lore on the fucking random fact- on the random race we found at the other planet. That is the coolest thing ever. I love this game so much. Oh shit. Get that. Or perhaps it is the work of those mysterious hooded figures adventurers have spoken of. Those cultists who claim to possess a dark necromantic magic and whose hidden master has yet to play their hand. <clears throat> foreshadowing a boss fight, maybe? If they, they, they're they probably foreshadowing an added boss fight that is to come in a future update. Fun Bone Dragon fact! The only person to successfully tame a Bone Dragon is Haraki Karel, who grew bored and released the creature minutes later when, he, when asked, she claimed she had forgotten how she befriended the beast. Of course she did. Of course she did. Pixar didn't happen, bitch. Sorry. Or... Yeah, it did say she. Okay. So, I got four fuck... Oh, I'm so pissed off that I have four gold bars. Uh, really? Like, son of a bitch. <laughs> I passed up all the gold, too. That just pisses me off. Alright, so what can I make now? What is the next thing that I have to make? No. What the hell is the next tier? I can't remember. Is it maybe in here? Um, is this it? Nope. That is, nope. That's definitely not it. Hmm. Come on, where, how do I unlock the next tier? I cannot remember. Hmm. Once I see it, I'll know. Obviously. Son of a bitch. Um... What the fuck? I've never gotten stuck in this game, ever, like, trying to figure out where to go from here. I just can't find the damn recipe. It's not the portable pixel printer, that wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. Well, it's not in that, it's not in that, uh, it's not in that. Where would it be? It's not in the metalworking. I do have the dragon bone. Did he drop anything else? Uh, the heat never dies. Taught to the touch, the heat never dies. Interesting. Son of a bitch. It's not bone block. Hmm. Is it star map upgrade mark 3? No, we're in the gamma sector. Uh, come on, where the hell... Where the fuck is the thing I'm supposed to craft? This is for beta sector. Hmm. Wow, that's weird. Is it something on the ship, maybe? Could possibly be something on the ship. I don't know why it would be something on the ship, but I guess we could check. Why would it be up here? That, that wouldn't make any sense. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Son of a bitch. Well, I'm stuck. I've never been stuck in this game. That's okay. Oh, here it is. Why the fuck does the... What the hell? Did I really miss that? Or was it not showing up? Well, that's fucking annoying. <laughs> Alright, let's get my titanium and my pixels. That's... I, th I don't think it was showing up. Maybe it's because I had to reload the instance or something. And when I moved to my ship, it did that. I have no idea. Come on. Go down. There you go. Uh, let's get all those pixels. Let's grab five titanium. Or six. Sure. Alright, I have some on me too. So let's smelt that. Alright. That's in this. There it is. Like, the fuck, game? What are you doing to me? Star map updated. New data has been uploaded to your ship's navigation systems. Select sector Delta from the top of the navigator when in galaxy view to advance. That is not what I'm excited about. I'm excited about what I get to build now. So, I can make the Sky Rider blueprint. So, the Sky Rider blueprint is, um, it was originally a mod, Sky Rails, not Sky Rider, Sky, well, Sky Rail Rider. Um, if you guys have played Bioshock Infinite, the Skyrail in that game, that's what this is, and it's really fucking awesome. The Creature Capture Station, which needs Durasteel. Lake Helm, this is all Durasteel armor. So, well, I guess they're going from Japanese. This all looks like a fucking... Wow. Here's the Durasteel upgrade. I need endomorph Endomorphic Jelly. I know how to get that. Really, though? I have to get that? That's so weird, because that's like a really high upgrade, and uh, here's the first of the drills. A copper drill, 20 bars. We're going to need that. Hmm. Can I make anything new in here? I'm sure I can. Indeed I can. I can make makeshift armor, which requires a matter block, or a lot of matter blocks, and it's really fucking awesome. Is that a gas mask? Oh my god. I need that. It, it's really hard to get that stuff, though. I'm, I'm aware of that. Okay, so who's the next boss? I know who it is, I mean, I just don't know what I have to do to make him. Hmm. Yeah, most of this episode is just me scrolling through shit. Maybe it didn't pop up yet. Oh, no, it probably did, because all the other stuff did. Grappling hook, which is, that's a new thing. Oh my god, we this is so fun. So that's the new thing. Um, actually, actually, no, it's the creature crap. No, it's not the creature capture system. What the fuck? Because you need endopomorphic jelly to make durasteel. So you can't make durasteel. Wait a minute. Do you need that? Wait a minute. What? Oh, no. You can make durasteel now. Oh. Okay, yeah, that is why they do. The creature capture, capture, capture station. So that means I have to make durasteel. That's what I have to do. So where's Durasteel? Let's see what you have to do to make it. Uh, here it is. Durasteel bars. Uh, one titanium. Uh, so it's one titanium, one coal. That's not too hard. Unfortunately, I don't have much titanium. So we're going to have to go get some. But thankfully, we can go to the new sector. So we can get some there. And hopefully get enough gold for that um, fucking cool heart forge. Mainly because once we get the heart forge, I don't know if they're going to actually remove it. But, uh... I, I want it, you know, as like a holiday item or something. I don't, I don't know if they remove it, though, so. Uh, let's just store crap in here. I don't really... I mean, I could go organize it all, but meh. It's like, mm, I could organize it. Or... I could be extra lazy with it. And just throw it in a box on my ship. Or I'm never going to use it. Alright, let's get out of here. So how much fuel do we have? Not much. Now yeah, we have a ton. So we have to go to Delta Sector? Yeah, here we go. Delta Sector. God, these planets look very vicious. Tundra. Mm. Volcanic. Savannah. Arid. This doesn't look too bad. We'll go there. Take a swig of my water while we travel this cosmos. Ugh, okay. I still have banana. I need that banana. Um, I still have these cool lights. I still have 44 fucking bombs. Damn. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Three red stim packs. It's pretty good. So, what can I use to repair my diamond pickaxe? I don't. I think I can use gold, but I'd rather not. Mainly because, uh, you know, I need one more fucking piece of gold to make my heart forge. When I make my heart forge, it's gonna be awesome. I don't know what I can actually do in it, but. It's going to be awesome. 
All right. Come on. Come on, get in orbit. I gotta kill shit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. I got it. like a monkey fish or some stupid shit like that. Let's go. Delta Gamma Coric 63083. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Okay, so this is an acidic. An acidic planet. Yeah, you can already tell these guys are enemy. And I have enough for a heart forge. I can see the gold right behind these guys. This crossbow is awesome, I may add. Hello. Just trying to get this gold here. Gotta go make a heart forge. Probably make some useless Valentine's Day items, but you know what. <laughs> I mean, Valentine's Day was only like what? A week or two ago? No, it was a week ago. It wasn't that long. Alright, we're not far from start, so I'll just go right back now, because I really want to make this. Not much combat this episode, sorry about that, but well, I did, we did fight a boss, but sorry about the lack of, I don't know, stuff. I'm trying to trying to get some, some beautiful armor. Damn it, of course I chose the wrong furnace. Um, campfire, pixels, do I have pixels? I don't have, oh shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Son of a fucking bitch. Oh, I'm so fucking close to. I am I am legitimately so fucking close. Oh, I am close enough. Oh, it's 150 pixels? Oh never mind. I thought it was a thousand. Alright, Heart Forge. Um well, I was gonna go with organization in this place, but that is going out the door at this point. So Heart Forge. What do we got? We have a flower bouquet, which is a shitty yeah, we have Heart Wreath, Cupid's Bow, Cupid's Sash, oh my god, are you shitting me, 20, Cupid's Wings, 20 fucking, oh my god, are you kidding me, I can do that, let's do it, let's, oh my god, we're totally gonna have Cupid's Wings, this is gonna be amazing, <laughs> it looks so fucking retarded, but it's so worth it. I'm gonna cut these trees down. I gotta make my wings. Come on, cut them down. Now I think these are all purely cosmetic changes, which is fine. That's what I'm expecting. Watch, you can actually fly with them. That'd be amazing. Okay, so uh, come on, what the hell? One, two, three, four. Damn it! Stupid fucking leaves are in the way. Ugh. Whatever. I'll do it some other time. <laughs> I can't be asked to fix it now. I, I need wings. I need the fucking wings, dude. Let's get 82 fabric. Let's waste everything on wings. Wings. Sash. A diaper. What do I need for this? Plant fibers, of fucking course. A bouquet needs plant fibers. Chocolate. I don't know what that does. Alright, so. Where is everything? Okay, well, I'm already wearing the wings. Here's the diaper. Oh my god. Here's the sash. Oh yeah. Oh my god, the wings fucking flap. Look at that. Do they do anything? I don't think so. They look awesome. I look stupid, but this is amazing. Okay. Um. What was I gonna do? Make the hunting bow. Really? Of course, need one fucking plant fiber. I think I actually, yeah, I do have some plant fibers laying around. Fibers laying around. In fact, I have enough for the wreath and Cupid's bow. And I don't. I doubt Cupid's bow is really that strong. I have enough for him to try it. And we have. Well, that actually looks kind of cool with my hair. Okay, it's a heart. Never mind. We have the full Cupid attire with his bow. Does it have a? Oh my god, it has a pink special. Well, let's go ahead and see what this does. Watch it makes things friendly. That'd be actually pretty cool. It probably really doesn't do much at all. But I can try it. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Fear me. Fear me. For I am Cupid, bitch. Oh god, I'm gonna die. 
Get my crossbow. Fuck this. Oh, wow. What is this? Excuse me. Hello. Um. Whoa. Sir. 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 Thank you for your banana, sir, but don't be such an asshole. I'll take this. Uh, eh. Eh, I'll take a brain. Might as well get something. It's like going shopping. Oh, wow. What the hell's going on up here? Dance party! Oh, shit. I'm gonna die. Don't kill Cupid. Come on. I'm bringing you love and fire. Can't you see? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's just run. So, I'm looking for mostly titanium, but I'll take some gold. I don't really need much gold anymore. Uh, I actually do need copper, which is kind of funny, because I need it for the copper drill. I need 20 pieces of copper, and then I can make my first copper drill, which is awesome. Although, I don't think it's as good as the diamond pickaxe, but it's still a drill. The drills are cool. So, you know. Just get through that. I think this is titanium right here. Yep, oh, the titanium. Hello. Let me shine my fucking flashlight on you. Because it's not rude or anything. Let's pick that. Whoa, clipping. What do we got? Anything? There's some gold. Not really useful. Oh, there we go. There's a bunch of gold. <gasps> Ooh, boss. Hey, douchebag. Ever fight Cupid? Let's go. Excuse me. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure this guy can kill me, like, instantly, too, because I'm such... I don't have, like, high enough armor for this planet. So, you gotta be very careful with this son of a bitch. And by careful, I mean bombs! Oh my god, they explode on contact. That was not expected. Yeah, perfect game. Oh god. God. Oh. Bitch. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I got him. Holy hell. Let's pick what he has. Oh shit, shit, shit. Almost died there. What'd he pick? What'd he drop? Oh god, I threw it off the screen. Uh, was this one he dropped? No, this one he dropped. Miss Spine Sword. It's not as fast. It has some sort of, uh, projectile attack, which is interesting. I guess I'll use it. Just want to check a bug real quick, actually. I'm curious if they fix it. They said projectile changes. So, there was a bug before, you know how you can like attack through walls? Well, that was fixed and you can't shoot through walls, but with these kind of swords, yeah, it's not fixed yet. <laughs> you can still attack through walls. Granted, it's not very strong and I won't, I probably won't use it because I don't cheat, but it's still some damage and you can just sit behind a wall and just kill something very fast. That's how you kill, or you used to kill bosses, that's how people used to do it. So. That's unfortunate. Hopefully they'll get that fixed. I guess it's not really that much of a priority. Because it's not like those weapons are extremely powerful by any means. Usually those projectile weapons are actually pretty fucking weak. Unless you hit the legendary uh, bone hammer. That thing is ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god, why is the gravity so high? Look at that. I didn't even realize it. The gravity is like really high. And there's a robot that just killed me. And a base. Son of a bitch. I'm too busy paying attention to the gravity to notice there's a giant, well, giant. There's a miniature robot that tried to kill me, or that did kill me. There's so many enemies. Why are there so many of you? God, can't you guys just get a life or something? Why is the gravity increasing over here? This is what I don't understand. It's really weird. Holy shit. Let's see. 
Yeah, it gets like really heavy over here. I don't know why. When I get close to the military base, it gets really heavy. Unless there's like something in there causing it. That'd be cool. I don't know though. I only know of one thing that I that could possibly do that. But I don't actually think it does that. It would make sense if it did though. Or if they added it to. Yeah, it is here. There is something causing it. There has to be. Because look at My fucking gravity just shoots up. This guy has a shield I gotta watch out for. There he goes. If I could just... Can I just... Angle it? Damn it. Damn it. I'm so bad aim. I'm such bad aim at this thing. Come on, burn. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and guess this is going to be a decently shit hard fight. Come on, asshole. Ow! There we go. We got a chest, which gave me a throbbing dude hacker. That sounds horrific, but also strangely interesting. Very odd. Oh, wow. Holy shit, did they change the, what the humans look like? They made them actually look like soldiers before they kind of looked like rogue kind of soldiers. Now they actually look like army. That looks awesome. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Next time we'll try and take on this military base, but, you know, no promises with that. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, please like and subscribe to join the Hukovian Mercs because together we can conquer the internet. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Goodbye!